Hello, I'm Nancy Carrier, and I'm part of the Partner Enablement Team here at Acumatica. Today, we'll be discussing bank reconciliations in Acumatica. There are three simple steps to completing a bank reconciliation. We'll look at importing bank transactions, matching bank transactions to book transactions, and in the final step, we'll create the reconciliation statement. Let's look at importing bank transactions. From the Banking Workspace, under the Processes header, there is a menu item for Import Bank Transactions. You can see that the last time bank transactions were brought in for the checking account was in February of 2013. We'll import transactions and reconcile the next month, March 2013. The plus sign at the top of the page is used to set up a new import for March 2013. We're going to reconcile the checking account. My bank statement date is March 31st. And my end balance date is the same, March 31st, 2013. At the top of the page, you'll notice the Upload File button. This can be used to import OFX files, Open Financial Exchange documents, from your bank. We can also use web services to automatically import transaction data into multiple bank accounts. Since this is a demo environment and we don't have a real bank account for our sample company, we don't have a bank statement to upload. So for today's purposes, we'll use a spreadsheet that I've prepared. To pull in the bank transactions, you just click on Upload Records from File and select the import file. I'll leave the common settings as is and just click OK. During an Excel import, Acumatica lets you easily map your spreadsheet columns to the database fields. In this example, everything is matched, but I could use the drop downs to match the fields if necessary. You can see the transactions that came in from the spreadsheet. Now the bank transactions are available for reconciling. Now that we have the bank transactions loaded, we can begin the process of matching bank transactions to the book transactions. From the banking workspace, under the processes header, there's a menu item for process bank transactions. I'm going to pick the checking account that I want to reconcile. Any imported transactions are now displayed and they're available for matching. Acumatica makes it easy to match transactions for reconciling. You can highlight a line on the left and see the predicted match or matches on the right. If you determine this is the correct transaction, you can indicate the match by clicking in the matched column. You can click through transactions one by one to see the predicted match or matches, but there's a faster, easier way to match transactions. You can use the auto match feature. The auto match feature uses configurable rules to help you automatically match as many transactions as possible with one simple click, limiting the time you need to spend going through transactions one by one. The auto match feature works hand in hand with the match settings. These are the configurable rules you can establish to check for matching. Rules are enforced when you click on auto match. You can control the days that are looked at before and after the transaction. You can apply a weight to the reference number, the date, and the payee to help get the best possible match. After clicking auto match, you can use the matched column to see which transactions are and aren't matched, or you can use a filter to quickly get to the transactions that did not get matched. You'll notice two transactions did not get automatically matched. They have the same dollar amount and the same transaction date, 
but they do have unique reference numbers. If you click on one of these, you will see on the right hand side that there are multiple transactions that are a possible match. If there were no matches, you could add the transaction on the fly by using the Create Payment tab. Let's manually match these two transactions. The first one has a reference number 2171, which matches this transaction on the right. The next unmatched transaction is 2172, which matches the last remaining transaction on the right. Since transactions are filtered to only unmatched transactions, there's nothing to display. Let's switch the filter back to all records. Now when you look at the matched column, everything is matched. Since everything is matched, I can go ahead and click on process. This marks all matched transactions as cleared and we're ready to complete the last step. The final step is to create the reconciliation statement and mark transactions as reconciled. From the banking workspace, under the transactions header, there's a menu item for reconciliation statements. To create a new reconciliation statement, we just click on the plus sign. Then select the account to be reconciled. The reconciliation date is March 31st, 2013. And we'll enter our statement balance, which is the ending balance from the bank statement. You can see in the cleared column that all the transactions are marked as cleared. Since we've already matched all of our transactions, at this point we can click on Toggle Reconciled. This marks all my transactions as reconciled. Since all of my transactions were matched, the reconciled balance matches the ending balance or the statement balance, and we have a difference of zero. If there was a difference, you could stop right here and go investigate the cause of the difference. Since everything looks good here, all that's left to be done is to take our reconciliation statement off hold and release. Our bank reconciliation is complete. Acumatica has extensive reporting capabilities with hundreds of reports available out of the box. Let's look at a couple of reconciliation reports. For a really nice summary level report, we have the Reconciliation Register Report. It provides a historical view of reconciliations across bank accounts. From the Banking Workspace, under the Reports header, I can access the Reconciliation Register Report. On the Report Parameters tab, you can specify report dates and restrict the report to a certain account. Let's enter a date range. And click on Run Report. This report gives you a list of all your reconciliations broken down by bank account. Another handy report is one that includes all the details of a reconciliation. If I go back to the banking workspace, under the reports header, we have access to reconciliation register details. On the report parameters, you can enter in specific dates and accounts, or you can use the reference number to run a report on a specific reconciliation. Let's look at the details for the reconciliation that was completed today. These dates can just be cleared out. And we can use the reference number drop down list 
to pick the appropriate reconciliation based on account and reconciliation date. Here's the one from today. We just click on Run Report. This report shows detailed, pertinent information for a specific reconciliation. Today we discussed how to import bank transactions, how to match bank and book transactions, and finally, how to create a reconciliation statement. We also looked at a couple of helpful reconciliation reports. If you would like more information about Acumatica, please visit our website, acumatica.com.